Ladies and gentlemen, last Thursday night after Thunder went off the air, the monster truck community learned of the sudden passing of gunslinger owner and driver, Scott Hartsock. Scott was a true privateer to the sport. He always had top-notch equipment. He went out on the track and never let his fans down, and he always had that bright smile on his face. The gunslinger machine will forever be cocked, locked, and ready to rock. And right here tonight on Thursday Night Thunder, we officially retire gunslinger from competition out of respect for Scott Hartsock. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family, his wife, his daughter, and his son. Tonight on Thursday Night Thunder, we pay tribute to Scott Hartsock and Gunslinger and the legacy he left behind. He will forever be remembered in the monster truck community, and the impact he left on this sport will live on forever. Welcome to Thursday Night Thunder, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host tonight, Steve Jones, as we get set to kick off round one action. And tonight's show is dedicated to the memory of Scott Hartsock. Up first here in round one action, we've got the Chevrolet and Taurus out of Granite City, Illinois. Logan Waller behind the wheel. He draws up against Chantel Bailey in the Scooby-Doo machine out of the Johnson Motorsport Race Team. Scooby's been running strong these last couple of weeks. Taurus laid it all on the line last week and turned the truck over. What's he going to do tonight? Both trucks stage as we go green. Down the straight stretch, Scooby pulling a lead. And it's all Scooby-Doo and Chantel Bailey takes the win. Taurus goes home early tonight in round one action. Well, up next here in round two, the rookie sensation taking MTA by storm. That's Zach Jurge in that beautiful 1972 Chevrolet pickup, better known as Titan, staged up in that far lane. But in the near lane's another rookie sensation. That's Braden Varga and Donkey Kong. He's looking to knock off Titan here in round one action. Boat truck stage. There's the green light now. Down the straight stretch. Donkey pulling a lead on him through no man's land, and it's all Braden Varga and Donkey Kong. He takes it all the way to the shutdown area. Titan doesn't get across the finish line. Donkey Kong moves on. Well, up next, there's Mr. Colt Cobra out of Cobra Creek, Colorado. He is representing the Ford Brass Eagle snake bite over there in that far lane. He got knocked out in round one action. Hit the wall, the truck started smoking. Crews thrashed on it, they got it back together. But in that near lane, you see the Prowler machine staged as well. Who moves on to round two action? Snake bite, Prowler as we go green down the straight stretch. We're pretty even, Prowler pulling a slight lead. And it's Prowler taking home the win. Colt Cobra is going back to Cobra Creek, Colorado. As we take a look at the MTA replay, Boat Trucks made it hard off the line right here. Prowler started to gain speed on him halfway down. Slight bobble to snake bite in that far lane. Up and over no man's land. One goes up, one goes down. Prowler makes up the ground. He takes home the victory. Snake bites going home on the trailer. Well, next up here in round one action, we've got Chad Legit, too legit, the Maximum Carnage champion. He's representing the Tropical Thunder Machine at a Chris Palooks Bad Weather Race Team. And there you see the tribute flag of Gunslinger riding on the back of that truck. But over in the far lane out of the Diggers Diecast Race Team is Richard Nelson II and Megalodon. Boat truck stage now as we go green. Down the straight, they're looking pretty even. Megalodon's up into Tropical Thunder's lane, and it's all Chad Legit and Tropical Thunder taking the win. He moves on to round two action as we go back to an MTA replay here. You see Megalodon had the lead on him, hits that first jump, got crossed up here in no man's land, goes over into Tropical Thunder's lane, hits him, but Chad Legit kept it under control. He takes the win. Next up here in round one action, the big bad Ford out of Frackville, Pennsylvania. That's Ben Wishard in sudden impact. He is out here tonight. He's been doing good this July season, but in that far lane at a Kildoa Hills, North Carolina, is Aaron Church in the Grave Digger. Boat truck stage now. Who moves on to round two action? Grave Digger, sudden impact as we go green down the straight stretch. Sudden impact, pull the lead. Digger turns it over, and it's all Ben Wishard in sudden impact. He takes the win, moving on to round number two. Going back now to an MTA replay. Had the lead on the Gravedigger. Watch Gravedigger in the far lane lose it right here in no man's land. Heavy on the nose, rocked up and rolled over. Sudden impact moves on to round number two. And now the MTA track crew and officials are down there with the Gravedigger as he lays over on his side in no man's land. Track crew now rolled him back over. He didn't take a hard roll, just cut a bad bounce off that first jump. Lost it there in no man's land. Team Gravedigger's on the trailer for the night. They'll be back next week. Up next here in round one, there's the big blue oval we all came to see. That's Mitch Brown out of Pacific, Missouri in Bigfoot. But over in that near lane is Donald Price Jr. out of Poplar Branch, North Carolina, two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion and son of a digger. Six championships on Thunder between the two. Who moves on to round two racing as we get set to go green? Boat trucks are hard off the line down the straight stretch through no man's land. Problems for Bigfoot and son of a digger will take the win over the big bad Ford and Bigfoot. 
Up next here in round one, these two have kind of been bad-mouthing each other over on the MTA Facebook page. There you see in the far lane, that's five-time Thunder champion Bradley Graham and the brand-new Goldberg. But in this near lane is newcomer Jeffrey Skipper, who's been dominating out here on the MTA circuit out of the Johnson Motorsports race team in West Virginia Mountaineer. Go truck hard off the line down the straight stretch. Sick out of my Mountaineer. What a wheel stand across the finish line. What an unbelievable ride by Jeffrey Skipper and the West Virginia Mountaineer. Bradley Graham hung up on the cars there. We're going down to an MTA replay. Watch this dead even. Look at the air by the West Virginia Mountaineer. Gets to that second jump on the tailgate across the finish line. Unbelievable ride by the West Virginia Mountaineer. Unbelievable. Well, next up here in round one action as we get set to close things out. This is eight-time Thursday Night Thunder champion out of the Wells Motorsports race team. That's Rich Wagner in the Captain's Curse Machine. But in that near lane is Matthew Riley in the El Toro Loco Machine. He won the Summer Heat Shootout back in 2020. Can he knock off the champion early down the straight stretch? They're even through no man's land, and I don't know who got the win. They came across the finish line so fast, I'm not too sure who got the win. We are going to go down to an MTA photo finish. Hopefully we can see some results here. And it's going to be Matt Riley and El Toro Loco by a tire. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Thunder after the break in a tribute to Scott Hartsock and Gunslinger. How sweet it is. You know, here we are in Las Vegas, you know, that's like winning a big one right there. Putting him out, you know, and everybody else is like relieved. It's like, man, Tom Miss with maximum destruction just went down. Who did he go down to? He went down to Gunslinger. Why? Because he came out, top block, ready to rock. We got the job done. <laughs> Now, is anybody going to be able to get over that big fan over there? You see, like, Poncho. Oh, oh, look at that! Wow! Gunslinger with some sick air! Yeah! Welcome back to Thursday Night Thunder, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set to kick off round two action. Round one was definitely one to remember, but up first, Scooby Doo takes on the Donkey Kong machine. These guys are shooting for the points championship here tonight as we got one more week left in the July season. Over in that far lane's Braden Varga in the Donkey Kong machine. Near lane, Chantel Bailey and Scooby-Doo. One's going on the semis as we go green down the straight stretch. Scooby pulling a lead on him up and over. And Scooby turns it over. Scooby got down there at the end of the track and turned the truck over after she hit that van stack. We're going down now to an MTA replay. You see she had the lead through no man's land. Look at her go off to the left side, hit the van stack and she never crossed the finish line. So Donkey Kong gets the win. Well, next up here in round two, we've got the return of Chad Legit and Tropical Thunder out of the Bad Weather Race Team. He draws up against Jason Wook in the Prowler Machine. He tore that truck up just a couple of weeks ago. They got a fresh body on it right here tonight. Boat truck stage, who moves on to semis as we go green? Off to a good start, Prowler pulling a strong lead up and over the cars, and it's all Jason Wook in the Prowler Machine. He knocks out Chad Legit. And Tropical Thunder, that left lane is definitely dominating here tonight. Next up here in round two action, Donald Price Jr. returns in Son of a Digger at a Poplar Branch, North Carolina. A two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, but over in that near lane, Ben Wishard looking for his first title. He's out here from Frackville, Pennsylvania in the Sudden Impact Ford. Both guys ran strong in round one. As we go green in round two down the straight stretch, they're even through no man's land, and Son of a Digger turns it over. Sudden Impact got loose down there in the shutdown area. What a wild ride by both competitors going down now to an MTA replay to take a better look. Both of them come out of the hole strong. Maybe a slight lead to Sudden Impact. As they hit the first jump, Sudden Impact goes far. Son of a Digger turns it over in no man's land. Well, got Sudden Impact go across the finish line, kicking the rear steer. You talk about letting it all hang out here on Thursday Night Thunder. Both drivers definitely did as the MTA track crew and officials are down there now. Donald Price out of the truck. He is okay. Track crew flipping the truck back over if they can get it off that stack of cars. Looks like he did some damage to the front end of the son of a digger machine. Hopefully it's not hurt too bad. The crew can thrash on it and get it back together for the July season closer next week. Up next here in round two, as we close things out, Matthew Riley knocked off the champion early in round one action. He's back in action here tonight in El Toro Loco. But in that far lane, Jeffrey Skipper wowed the crowd in that last round matchup. Sick air and then stood it on the tailgate. What's he got for us here in round two as we go green? El Toro with a whole shot down the straight stretch, up and over the cars, and Jeffrey Skipper come back on him in the shutdown area. He picks up the win in the Johnson Motorsports Race Team West Virginia Mountaineer. He's on to semifinal action. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Thursday Night Thunder after the break.
back here with semifinal action on Thursday Night Thunder and definitely some great memories from Scott Hartsock and the Gunslinger. Looking at the semifinal bracket, Donkey Kong draws up against Prowler first. Up here at the line is Jason Wook and the Prowler Machine out of Millington, Michigan. But in that other lane is Braden Varga and Donkey Kong. He's been dominating out here tonight. He's looking to take home his first victory, but so is Jason Wook and the Prowler Machine. Who moves on to the finals here at Thursday Night Thunder? Boat Truck stays at the line as we get set for green. Down the straight stretch. Boat Truck's looking even. Donkey Kong pulling a slight lead. And it's all Braden Varga and Donkey Kong. He finds himself in the finals here on Thursday Night Thunder. Next up in our semifinal bracket, we've got Ben Wishard returning out of Frackville, Pennsylvania. He's rocking and rolling in the sudden impact Ford. But in the other lane is another Ford out of the Johnson Motorsports race team. That's new kid on the block, Jeffrey Skipper in the West Virginia Mountaineer. Rookie versus the veteran. Two Fords as we go green. The blue oval brigade flying to the straight up and out of the cars. And what a close race, but it's going to be Ben Wishard in the sudden impact Ford. He moves on to the finals. He meets Donkey Kong and Braden Varga. This is going to be one for the ages. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be back with the finals here on Thursday Night Thunder right after the break. Welcome back to the finals, ladies and gentlemen, here on Thursday Night Thunder as we take a look at our final round matchup. Ben Wishard out of Frackville, Pennsylvania. He's been driving the Sudden Impact Ford hard all night long. He's looking for his very first Thursday Night Thunder championship. But over in the near lane, Braden Varga, the rookie sensation, he is looking for his very first victory out here on Thursday Night Thunder. Who's it going to be? Ladies and gentlemen, Donkey Kong, Sudden Impact. It's showtime here on Thunder down the straight stretch. They're even up and over the cars, heavy on the nose. Donkey turns it over. And Ben Wishard in the sudden impact forward is going to claim his very first Thursday Night Thunder victory right out here in week four of the July season. Braden Varga is upside down at the finish line as we go back down to an MTA replay. You see bow trucks are hard out of the hole. Slight lead to Donkey Kong in that left lane, but sudden impact coming back on him. Up and over no man's land, heavy on the nose for Donkey Kong into the van stack, and it was all sudden impact from there. He's been running that truck hard all July season, but tonight, congratulations to Ben Wishard on your very first Thursday Night Thunder Championship victory in sudden impact. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at the overall points as we close out week four of the July season. Scooby-Doo, El Toro Loco, and Snakebite hold the gate closed with 23. Prowler leads the latter half of the bracket with 25. And as we look at the top half of the bracket, Ben Wishard and Sudden Impact take the lead with 48 points, followed by Jeffrey Skipper and Mountaineer with 40, Rich Wagner and Captain's Curse with 38, followed by Son of a Digger with 36. A huge battle for point supremacy, but only one week left in the July season. Who's going to take it all? Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Thursday Night Thunder. Be sure, if you haven't already, to crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain, and now they're screaming my name. Yeah, everybody saw me rock the place. Now there's flashballs are popping and mics in my face. In my face, always giving the crowd what they need. Now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about. Signing autographs.
so to the lights out, yeah, it's about that, it's about 